Welcome back to Tiny Tasks, Big Benefits. My name is Luna Fuentes. I'm a practical skills coach, and I help people make the changes that they didn't think they could make. This month, we're uncovering some of the biggest fallacies and fairy tales out there, and this is one the self-help industry doesn't want you to know about. We're going to talk about the power of authenticity, the courage to embrace our flaws, and the wisdom of setting realistic goals, and we'll boldly step into a world where we no longer need to fake it till you make it. In the maze of life's endless challenges, we often encounter the well-intentioned yet misleading advice of fake it till you make it. At first glance, it sounds empowering, doesn't it? The idea that by simply pretending to be confident or skilled, we can eventually become these things. It's a concept used in various sectors, from business to personal development, However, as an experienced life coach, educator, and mentor, I've seen firsthand the pitfalls of this mindset and how it can lead to a superficial and unfulfilling idea of success. So let's dive into why this approach is more of a slippery slope than a staircase to achievement. The biggest problem with fake it till you make it mentality is its inherent shallowness It suggests that mere outward presentations or transient boosts in confidence are sufficient to conquer obstacles or reach objectives. This kind of strategy is the same as applying a Band-Aid to a severe injury without treating the root cause. It offers a temporary remedy, but not a lasting resolution. Imagine someone pretending to be confident in a job that they are not qualified for. They could bluff their way through meetings or projects, but the lack of real competence eventually catches up with them. This approach breeds anxiety, imposter syndrome, and a constant fear of being found out. It's a house of cards waiting to collapse. Let's take a deep dive to unravel the long-term implications. Expanding on the idea of superficiality, the fake it till you make it mantra alone can lead to a cycle of perpetual faking. It's like being stuck on a hamster wheel of pretense, constantly trying to maintain the facade. This not only stunts personal and professional growth, but can also lead to the significant mental and emotional strain. The energy expended in maintaining this facade could instead be used for genuine, actual development and self-improvement. There is also the stress factor of living on the edge. Consider the psychological toll that this approach takes. Constantly pretending to be something you're not is exhausting. It's living on the edge, always worried that someone will see through the facade And this state of continuous stress can lead to burnout, anxiety, and depression. It's a mental health hazard masquerading as a strategy for success. We don't even take into account the cost of inauthenticity. The impact extends beyond the individual to their relationships, both professional and personal. Inauthenticity can create this barrier between the individual and others, making it difficult to form genuine connections. Colleagues and friends may sense that something is off, leading to trust issues. In the workplace, this could mean missed opportunities for collaboration or mentorship, which are crucial elements for genuine growth and success. It's also a complete misalignment with personal values. There is this fundamental misalignment with our personal values when we adopt a fake-it-till-you-make-it approach. 
If honesty, integrity, and authenticity are values that you hold dear, then living a facade is in direct conflict with your principles. This misalignment can lead to an internal conflict where you're constantly battling against your own values, beliefs, and skills, which further contributes to stress and unhappiness. It's crucial to consider the deceptive sense of achievement also that is associated with faking it. Initially, it might seem effective. You could get that desired position or advance your career, yet lacking the requisite expertise or understanding, you're bound to face difficulties in fulfilling expectations. This impacts not just your immediate performance, but can also negatively affect your long-term reputation. The fleeting advantages are significantly overshadowed by the drawbacks of failing to deliver and the risk of tarnishing your professional integrity. What is the alternative path? Building a foundation of authenticity. In a world often captivated by the temptation of quick fixes and superficial success, there's a profound need for an alternative path, one that's grounded in authenticity. This path starts with a fundamental honesty about one's abilities, areas for growth, and realistic expectations. It's a journey that's not just ethically grounded, but also sustainable in its approach to personal and professional development. Let's talk about understanding authenticity in a real way. Authenticity is about being true to yourself. It's an alignment between your actions and your values, beliefs, and your abilities. It's not about perfection. It's about being real and accepting both your strengths and your limitations. When you operate from this place of truth, you create a solid foundation upon which real growth can occur. Embarking on the path of authenticity starts with cultivating self-awareness. This crucial first step involves a deep and truthful examination of yourself. It's about identifying your strengths, acknowledging areas where you're not as strong, and having a clear grasp of your core values. This process of self-reflection often demands stepping outside your comfort zone to face and accept truths about yourself that you may have previously overlooked or minimized. But there is an art to accepting our imperfections. An essential element of authenticity is the acceptance of your imperfections. It's a universal truth that everyone possesses flaws. They're not failings, but facets of our individuality. Embracing your imperfections is not about resigning to them, but it's about recognizing them as integral parts of your unique self. This acceptance diminishes their hold over you, and actually paves the way for true personal growth and self-improvement. Furthermore, a significant component of living authentically involves setting realistic expectations, both for yourself and in your interactions with others. This is not about underestimating your abilities, but about establishing attainable goals that align with your true capabilities and skill set. It's an exercise in understanding and accepting your limits and your potential, and consistently meeting these benchmarks. This practice not only builds self-respect, but also cultivates trust and respect in your relationships, both personally and professionally. There is a role that vulnerability plays in this. Authenticity involves vulnerability. This means being open about your struggles and failures. It's scary to be vulnerable, but it's also incredibly powerful. Vulnerability builds connection, empathy, and trust. It shows that you're human and relatable, which in turn can inspire others. On this path, 
learning and growth are approached authentically. Instead of pretending to know things you don't, you adopt a learner's mindset. You seek out opportunities to expand your knowledge and your skills genuinely. This approach not only leads to better personal development, but also encourages a culture of learning and growth around you. If the impulse to fake it till you make it creeps into your professional or personal life, it's a signal, not of deficiency in character, but of an opportunity for growth and skill enhancement. The desire to exaggerate capabilities often stems from a mismatch between our current skill set and the demands of our aspirations or goals. Recognizing this gap is the first step towards genuine progress. Rather than viewing it as a shortfall, it's more productive to see it as a roadmap for development. This mindset shift transforms the exhausting task of keeping up appearances into a constructive, forward-looking strategy focused on real skill acquisition. Increasing your skills to align with your goals is not just about meeting external expectations. It's about building a foundation of confidence and competence that no fake facade can offer. When you invest in learning and development, you're not just enhancing your resume, you're deepening your understanding, improving your problem-solving capabilities, and making yourself more adaptable to the ever-changing landscape of your field. This commitment to genuine improvement over superficial shortcuts ensures that when opportunities arise, you're not just appearing qualified, you're truly prepared. The satisfaction and self-assurance that comes from this authenticity are far more rewarding than any temporary success achieved through pretense. Effective, authentic communication is key. This means expressing yourself honestly and clearly, listening actively, and engaging in meaningful dialogues. When you communicate authentically, you build stronger, more sincere relationships, both in your personal life and at work. And living authentically is living with integrity. Your actions align with your values and principles. This ethical approach to life and to work builds a sense of trustworthiness and reliability, which is incredibly valuable in any setting. In a leadership role, authenticity has a massive impact. Authentic leaders inspire trust and respect. They lead by example, showing that it's okay to be imperfect and that honesty and integrity are valued above all else. This kind of leadership builds a positive, open, and supportive work environment. Authenticity is critical in building and maintaining healthy relationships. Being genuine with others builds deeper connections and mutual respect. It's about being present, listening, and engaging sincerely with the people in your life. What are the challenges of being authentic? It's important to acknowledge that being authentic is not always easy. It requires courage to show your true self, especially in a world where there is often pressure to conform or present a perfect image. It's a continuous process that involves constant self-reflection and adjustment. Yet the rewards of authenticity are immense. Living authentically leads to a more fulfilling life. You create deeper connections with others, experience less internal conflict, and find that your work and personal life are more aligned with your true self. So, what is the tiny task that will give me the big benefits of authenticity? This task will help you transition from fake it till you make it to a place of authenticity. It focuses on self-reflection, acknowledgement of true abilities, and setting realistic goals. 
you'll need a large sheet of paper or poster board, markers or colored pens, sticky notes, and a quiet, comfortable space for reflection. It all starts with a self-reflection session. Ask yourself questions like, what are my genuine strengths? What skills do I need to develop? What are my core values? Write down your thoughts on the sticky notes. Next, we'll divide the paper or poster board into three sections labeled strengths, areas for growth, and values. Place your sticky notes in the corresponding sections. For example, a note about being a good listener might go under strengths, while a note about needing to improve public speaking would go under areas for growth. Under each area for growth, write down a realistic goal that would help you improve in that area. Ensure that these goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, also known as SMART goals. Next to each goal, draft a small action plan. This could involve taking a course, seeking feedback, or practicing a skill regularly. The action should be practical and achievable. Now, look at your values section. For each value, write down one way you can better align your daily actions with this value. For instance, if one of your values is honesty, you might commit to being more transparent in your communications. Always, at the end of each task, is reflection. Reflect on the map that you've created. Consider how this new approach, based on authenticity, differs from the fake-it-till-you-make-it mindset. Make a commitment to yourself to follow this map. This could be a written pledge or even a mental commitment. And lastly, schedule regular times to review and update your authenticity map. This could be monthly or quarterly. Adjust your goals and action plans as needed based on your progress and experiences. Through this tiny task, you'll have a clearer understanding of your authentic self, including your real strengths, your areas for growth, and your core values. The process of setting realistic goals and aligning actions with values helps in gradually shifting away from the fake it till you make it mentality to embracing and developing your more authentic self. If today's conversation sparked a flame of insight for you, or if by using these tiny tasks you're seeing big benefits in your daily life, don't keep that to yourself. Help spread the word by hitting like, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Your ratings and reviews not only brighten our day, but also help others find us so they too can start transforming their tiny tasks into big benefits. Every little bit of support helps keep this show alive and kicking. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, it's tiny tasks that eventually lead to big benefits in your life's journey.